We've got one shot, won't live this life again Our part to give it all we can One world, why can't we all be friends On this planet of our own The pale blue dot that we call home Good morning. We're gonna head to Akata today, which is about 24 kilometers. A little bit longer than we did yesterday. Hopefully we'll get there by two-ish, three-ish. All right, last night we stayed at this youth hostel and um, it's pretty much just us. It was all, only us the entire time. There's room for all these people here, which are normally pilgrim ears that fill up in the summer. But because of uh, COVID, it was only only us two. All right, so it's seven in the morning, and we made it out early, mm. so hour before sunrise. Um, the reason we're up so early is because it gets hot. It gets hot. And today it's supposed to be hotter. No, it's supposed to be cooler. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, that's good news. Because yesterday, after about like, we definitely noticed it around noon. Mm. <laughs> so uh, the last two hours were pretty warm. Yeah, anytime you weren't in the shade. So our plan is to be in the shade as much as we can today. And sometimes that means making your own shade by starting early in the morning. corn no we're not in kansas we are on the camino camino corn oh, look at this whole wall it's used tires it's kind of interesting look we're under 100 easy stuff Feeling pretty good. Yeah, we're doing great. And it's uh, definitely overcast, so that's okay. nice. It's keeping the temperature down. Yep. But uh, not very, not very picturesque with all the clouds. <laughs> but we're enjoying it. Made it to the forest area. That's good. I like the forest a lot better than the jungle of the city. <laughs> That's true. We also found a Camino obstacle course at a nearby playground. Just a few months ago, a playground like this would have been off limits due to the COVID-19 and the state of alarm in Spain. Alright, here's what we got. We're going to stop and get a snack. 
I love these little uh, mini meat sticks. Chantel's not a fan because of all the mold on them, but they're delicious. And then we've got some peanuts covered in candy. this cool little tractor they use in the area it's just a one-man little tractor used for towing stuff around perfect this is a steep section <laughs> Woo yes we're definitely glad we're heading north there goes the bread lady she drives this road probably every day to drop off bread Sunshine. So it looks like the clouds went away, yeah. and we have got some nice sunshine. It's a beautiful day out here. We're making pretty good pace. It's uh, almost noon now. We'll probably have it about two more hours. Yeah. Two more hours before we get to where we gotta stop for the night. Yep. And that'll be our longest day. And that'll be a good day. Good day. We made it to Redondela. Yes, we're here. We made it. Hustle and bustle of a big town. <laughs> kind of back into the suburbs. Back to the suburbs. So we got some uh, water and some Pringles. <laughs> so we're good to go. Yep. Another hour and a half and we'll be there. Yeah, good night. We just came over this bridge over the road tracks and we smelled this awful, awful smell. Like it's death. Like, like death, <laughs> exactly. And we found out what it was. Look at this. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see on the GoPro, but right there is a deer that got caught on the tracks and it got flattened. Flat. And the carcass is stinky. All the kind of cool things you find on the Camino. Seven kilometers. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna keep uh, Chantel motivated. I um, she likes candy, so here we go. Got this candy right here. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Come on, get the candy. Come on. Come up the hill. Come on. You gotta get the candy. Come get the candy! Not nice. Look at the sweeties. Come get the sweeties. You're almost at the top of the hill. I'm not playing your game. <laughs> <laughs> After reaching the top of the hill, no thanks to Travis, we came across this monument to Camino hikers of the past. So wait a second. We got up here and it turns out that 
the two dollars I paid for this one, I could have just got one here on this wall. What? Actually, I would never take these. These are belong to people's hopes and dreams. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Those guys are from Korea, South Korea. Oh, look at We are gonna add our own little bit of flair to this wall. While at the monument, we met another Camino hiker. One of the coolest things that when you walk the Camino is you run into other pilgrims. So we ran into Rita. Rika. 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 From yeah. Germany. From Germany, <laughs> yay. Amazing and, lady. And she has helped us stay motivated for the last portion of our hike <laughs> because we were getting pretty tired. So it's always nice to run into some people that you, that you meet. They give you extra cool. energy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the motivation. Yeah, nice meeting you. It was nice to walk with Rika and share some stories of traveling around Europe. Bye. 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 Yeah. Camino. For sure. Thank you so much. Bye. Before long, we are crossing the Ponta Sambio Bridge. This medieval origin bridge is where the last battle against Napoleon's army in Galicia was fought, thus ending the French occupation of this region. Shortly after crossing the bridge, we found a hostel, rest at our feet, and found some dinner. Join us next episode as we continue day three of our Camino de Santiago. Bien Camino! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, and check out our patron page to see the benefits we offer our supporters. The link is in the description below.